Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Hold that... on. Wait, wait. Hold on, folks. Because we could. This is going to end up getting out of control. Let's to protect toddlers from guns. And fortunately, dozens of toddlers uh, injure themselves, even kill people with guns. You can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb. You can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb. We have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. I have been for border security for years. I voted for border security in the United States Senate. And my comprehensive immigration reform plan, of course, includes border security. But I want to put our resources where I think they're most needed, getting rid of any violent person, anybody who should be deported, we should deport them. I voted for border security, and there are and uh, some... There are some limited places where that was appropriate. There also is necessarily going to be new technology and how best to deploy that. What's happened, and that's what's happened bigly. We're going to speed up the process bigly. Because is that the Russian government has engaged in espionage against Americans. They have hacked American uh, websites, American accounts of private people, of institutions, then they have given that information to WikiLeaks for the purpose of putting it on the internet. This has come from the highest levels of the Russian government, clearly from Putin himself, in an effort, as 17 of our intelligence agencies have confirmed, to influence our election. So I actually think the most important question of this evening, Chris, is Finally, will Donald Trump admit and condemn that the Russians are doing this and make it clear that he will not have the help of Putin in this election, that he rejects Russian espionage against Americans, which he uh, actually encouraged in the past. Those are the questions we need answered. We've never had anything like this happen in well, any of our elections before. So I just want to tell you, she wants open borders. Now we can talk about Putin. I don't know Putin. He said nice things about me. If we got along well, that would be good. If Russia and the United States got along well and went after ISIS, that would be good. He has no respect for her. He has no respect for our president. And well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet, States. No puppet, no puppet. It's pretty clear. You're the it's pretty clear you won't admit no, that the, the Russians have engaged in cyber attacks against the United States of America, that you encouraged espionage against our people, that you are willing to spout the Putin line, sign up for his wish list, break up NATO, do whatever he wants to do, and that you continue to get help from him because he has a very clear favorite in this race. So I think that this is such an unprecedented uh, situation. We've never had a foreign government trying to interfere in our election. We have 17, 17 intelligence agencies, civilian and military, who have all concluded that these espionage attacks, these cyber attacks come from the highest levels of the Kremlin and they are designed to influence our election. I find that deeply disturbing. Se Secretary and I think it's she time. She has no you idea whether it's Russia, it, China, or anybody else. I am else. not quoting she has myself. No idea. I am quoting Hillary, you 17, have no idea. 17 intelligence. Do you doubt 17 our, our military has and no civilian idea. agencies? Well, yeah, he'd I doubt rather it. believe I doubt it. Vladimir Putin than the military and civilian intelligence professionals who are sworn to protect us. I find that just absolutely. Absolutely. She Mr. doesn't Trump. like Mr. Putin Trump. because Putin Mr. has outsmarted her at every Mr. step Trump. of the way. I, I, Excuse I, I, me. Mr. Putin Mr. has Mr. outsmarted Trump. her in Mr. Syria. Trump. He's outsmarted her here. every step of the way. I do get to ask some questions. Yes, that's and I would fine. like to ask oh, Putin. I have I'm, no I'm idea. I never you. met yeah. Putin. This is not my best friend. Let me translate that if I can, Chris, because um, you can't. The fact is to the slowest GDP growth since 1949. Correct. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, you told me... And I didn't even apologize to my wife, who's sitting right here, because I didn't do anything. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Nobody. Nobody has more respect. Please, everybody. But there is no evidence, but there is, there well is, there is, there is a lot of evidence it's been very about well the studied. very good work and it's a and criminal the high enterprise. That and the so many people like know it. It's a criminal enterprise. You have been warning at, re 
rallies recently that this election is rigged and that Hillary Clinton is in the process of trying to steal it from you. Your running mate, Governor Pence, pledged on Sunday that he and you, his words, will absolutely accept the result of this election. Today, your daughter Ivanka said the same thing. I want to ask you here on the stage tonight, do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. There is a tradition in this country, in fact, one of the prides of this country, is the peaceful transition of power and that no matter how hard fought a campaign is, that at the end of the campaign, that the loser concedes to the winner, not saying that you're necessarily going to be the loser or the winner, but that the loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time, I'll keep you in suspense. Well, there was even a time when he didn't get an Emmy for his TV program three years in a row, and he started tweeting that the Emmys were rigged. Should have gotten it. This, <laughs> this is a mindset. This, and I'm going to continue to uh, push for a no-fly zone and safe havens within Syria, not only to help protect the Syrians and prevent the constant outflow of refugees, but to frankly gain some leverage on both the Syrian government and the Russians so that perhaps we can have uh, the kind of serious negotiation necessary to bring the conflict to an end and go forward on a political track. Chris, we don't gain anything. Has all the Iran is taking over Iraq. Secretary Clinton, and Iran is taking over Iraq. We don't gain Secretary Clinton, we would have gained out if they did it by surprise. Wait, 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 wait. Time. Secretary Clinton, it's he an open he, discussion. He, but he Secretary, we would have gained now, if they did it by surprise. Secretary, please they let Mr. Trump speak. He's unfit, Go ahead. and he proves it every no. time. You he are talks. the one that's unfit. You said that Aleppo has basically fallen. In fact, there are. In fact, there are... It's a, it's a catastrophe. It I mean, is a catastrophe, a but there, there are a quarter Have you of seen it? Have you seen it? Sir? Have you seen what's happened sir, to Aleppo? If, if I might finish my question. Okay, so it hasn't fallen. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. Well, there are a quarter of a million people still living there and being slaughtered. That's right. You and, also and said, they are being slaughtered yes. because of bad decisions. And if I may just finish here. And you, that you would impose a no-fly zone to try to protect the people of Aleppo and to stop the killing there. President Obama has refused to do that because he fears it's going to draw us closer or deeper into the conflict. And General Joseph Dunford, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, says, you impose a no-fly zone, chances are you're going to get into a war, his words, with Syria and, and Russia. So the question I have is, if you impose a no-fly zone, first of all, how do you respond to their concerns? Secondly, if you impose a no-fly zone and a Russian plane violates that, does President Clinton shoot that plane down? Well, Chris, first of all, I think a no-fly zone could save lives and could hasten the end of the conflict. I be because of our experiences, you know? He started off with his dad as a millionaire. I, uh, wait, wait, wait. I started we've off heard, with my dad as a before, small Hillary. businessman. We've heard and this before. I think it's, you know, it's a difference that affects how we see the world and what we want to do with the economy. Time. Thank you, Hillary. I, could I just respond? Well, no. Well, no because sir. I...